So uh, my name is uh, Gananan Kini, and uh, I'm a lead cybersecurity engineer at the MITRE Corporation. So for this course, the learning objectives, um, you know, you should be able to uh, define and apply this secure development lifecycle or SDLC. This is actually a methodology that uh, Microsoft uh, came up with. Understand how to define, communicate, and uh, mitigate software security weaknesses as part of the secure uh, development lifecycle. Uh, apply penetration techniques um, to test software security. Uh, we'll be covering uh, some pen testing techniques in this course, um, but they're nothing novel. They're pretty vanilla and boring, but um, the goal is for this course um, is for you to learn how to uh, fix those uh, security bugs. So this course is actually in a break it, build it style, which is um, you first break the software application and then you build it more securely. Um, so as the weeks go on, you know, you're hopefully improving the security of the application. So applying security analysis techniques and tools to assess software security, um, be able to explain weaknesses in software systems, apply defenses to remediate software exploits and weaknesses. So what is this course not about? Um, it's not about uh, using antivirus technologies or how they're implemented. Um, it's not about advanced hacking or exploitation. Um, again, the goal is how to learn how to secure software, not really break it. We also don't cover software design and architecture in great detail. Um, we just cursorily uh, touch on it. And so um, uh, just to, to highlight the the connection points between security and the, and the design and architecture lifecycle. So, so from this course, what will you gain? Um, you'll gain the ability to audit a software system and find security weakness weaknesses um, in the system. You'll learn how to describe the weaknesses that you find using MITRE's uh, Common Weakness Enumeration, or CWE, um, methodologies, techniques, and tools that are used for finding security weaknesses and doing a performing a secure code review. Um, and then you'll also we'll also look briefly at techniques and tools to do analysis and um, to to find weaknesses and then also fix them. How to uh, perform secure code reviews uh, for finding security weaknesses, um, you know, improving code quality, communication, um, and educating others, right? Like I'm doing right now.